was transformed by the virus to freakers. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Freak you out. Are you ready to fight? Hello, my name is uh, David Lee. I'm the community manager over at Bench Studio for Days Gone. Our team has been developing Days Gone for over six years. At this point, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, we, we are so excited and enthusiastic for April 26th to come because, you know, our team has put so much time and, and there's so much space and they're just so dedicated to creating such a, a wonderful experience and a unique experience uh, for the PlayStation 4. With our latest trailer release with the Sarah Deacon's wedding, you see that and it's troubling with the fact that you know, that his life was taken away with the, with the pandemic that happened over two years ago in game. So you, uh, especially with our game, our creative director, John Garvin, has cre uh, crafted a story and these characters that you're, you're gonna wanna play through, you know, we've talked about a the hour golden path of at six hours of cinematics and, you know, easily 100 hours worth of gameplay. So uh, I think anyone who's interested in a very narrative driven story, but also doesn't know, you know, they don't mind driving around a uh, very unique setting, I think Days Gone is, is what it in Central Oregon, it's anywhere, anywhere really in Oregon, you're going to have to drive. And it is uh, our studio, they, especially our creative director, John Garvin, was very inspired by shows like The Walking Dead, Sons of Anarchy. Uh, close to half the studio, they actually know how to ride motorcycles. So for them, they saw this as a unique opportunity to bring it to our game, which allows, you know, different kind of gameplay mechanics and different methods to go around. And as the game starts to be more developed, we've created more ways to customize your bike. And really, at this point, I think there's so many variations out there. You can really just spend hours customizing your bike and really make it your own. So we're very excited about that. I, I think, especially with our bike and the way our combat skill system is managed, you know, like in most games, in the very beginning, you're going to struggle a little bit. The game's going to be hard. And nonetheless, it's going to be hard around. But the way you can allocate your skill points, and especially the way you can upgrade your bike, you can give yourself an easier time, but you're going to have to make the hard choice of, all right, am I going to put more credits or more time into upgrading my skill, or do, can I make my ride a little easier with the bike, or can I take some time to clear out some infestation zones to make it so I can, you know, maybe focus more on my skills and not have to worry too much about the bike so I can fast travel to my locations. I think, you know, if you want things to be easier in our game, you're going to take out those infestation zones, you're going to take out all that red marking on the map to make it so you can fast travel and see less encounters with creepers. The human threat is just as scary as creepers because you have the ambush camps, you have people just riding by wanting to take you out because it's after the pandemic. People who survived like an outbreak, they're not going to be nice. They're, they're going to try to do everything to survive just like Beacon is, so you, you're going to have to watch out for them. The dynamic weather system we have in our game is plays a important role with gameplay, with how you uh, drive your bike, and especially with freakers. You know, as it gets uh, during the night time, that's when the freakers start to roam around, get more aggressive. Especially when it starts snowing, that's it. it kind of hardens the freaker skin and makes them because of more health, makes them more aggressive. So you always have to keep aware of the weather on top of just the normal surroundings. So you're constantly kind of on edge or like you're on your tippy toes, kind of figuring out what's the best scenario. As you talked about before, Swarmers, you, you can see anyone from 1 to 12, because you know, the, the, the Freakers, they like to kind of stick together. But then you have Hordes, and that could be anywhere from 50 to 300, and definitely more than 300 as well. But Newts, you know, we got Screamers, we've actually showed off another type of Freaker in our recent world trailer. Uh, and I won't uh, kind of divulge that information, but he is big, bulky, and if you see him, you're going to want to run. Uh, unless you feel confident enough to take them down. But there are more types out there that you can encounter, that you always have that, you know, second in when you're playing the game, it's like, okay, do I feel confident enough to take them down, or should I just drive away and cut my costs? Marauders are just humans that are kind of like Deacon, where they're going to pretty much do whatever it takes to survive. It's been two years. You know, people who've lived past this pandemic after two years, you imagine they're going to do anything to survive. Uh, regarding the Rippers, they are... Um, pretty much crazy people, you know, they, they, once the pandemic happened, they believed that it was a sign from God, that this was a good thing. So they cut themselves, they burned themselves to be closer to like the Freakers, and they, they pretty much worship the Freakers. So anytime you encounter them, they're gonna want either you to join them or they're gonna kill you. So you're, you're gonna have to kill them, and they're very aggressive. We haven't shown uh, you know these kind of enemy types yet, but you'll see very unique types, especially within the uh, Ripper community. What's great about our uh, system in game is Copeland's, uh, that's the first encampment you encounter. Uh, we have Manny there, who's actually a mechanic. So he's going to have the best bike parts. 
But then uh, in the demo we, uh, that you had a chance to play, you actually get to join uh, Tuck's camp where the hot springs. And there, uh, Alki actually has a good management weapon. So if you want uh, better weapon upgrades or better weapons, you're going to go to him. We haven't revealed all the camps yet, but you know that each camp kind of specifies in a different specialty and that you want, you're going to need to make the decision of, okay, where am I going to focus doing side jobs or turning in stuff, you know, at each of these camps. And I can say that you know our team has just been you know they've been working on the uh, been working on the game for so hard for the past six years. We're so excited to get the, the our game Days Gone into the the hands of the PlayStation hardcore fans and the casual. And we're just you know we're so excited to see our game release on April 26th. Explore the world of Days Gone at your peril.